absolutely do feel that um, are going in the right direction. You know, the Wolves are three and two, but they're a really good home team. And you got the Celtics five and zip, and the Celtics have been very impressive in their first five games of the season. They absolutely have wrecked teams, and that's something that you can really, really get excited about if you're a Celtics fan moving forward this year. And also the Celtics have it in their head that it's a ring or bust season. You know, no more of this, let's just get to the Eastern Conference Finals and hope we do get to the finals. No, this group knows that they've elevated themselves past that point. You know, a few years back, they played in the finals and came up short against the uh, Gold State Warriors. A lot of us felt like they should have won that final. I know that they feel like they should have won that final. Then last year, you got Miami jumping to the jump in your way after you had a crazy series with the 76ers. You come back around and you literally tie the series back up with Miami, and then you figure out a way to still lose said series in game seven. So there's a lot of things on the Celtics' mind that are negative and positive. The positives is that they have their group here pretty much still intact, but they added two all-stars into that group, and one guy was considered a unicorn because he was Wimby before Wimby, uh, pretty much. And then you got Drew Holiday, one of the best lockdown defenders in the NBA. So there's a lot of things moving in the right direction for the Boston Celtics. Minnesota, on the other hand, has two of the most versatile bigs in the league, one of the best defensive bigs in Rudy Gobert, and then the guy that pretty much could be the MVP if he could ever stay healthy or just be consistent is Cat, K-A-T. And then you got uh, Ann Edwards as well, too. So you have a really good matchup tonight with the Celtics and um, the Timberwolves. So I feel like with this one, we play the over. I think the over is the right play here. It's an interconference game as well, too. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it shakes out. We move forward from there. All right. And pretty much our game of the night is going to be this. The Pelicans and the um, Nuggets.